Hello everybody and welcome back to Dana's Coloring Obsession. I am here because I was tagged in the latest and greatest tag that's going around right now and it is the um, 2024 Mid-Year Freakout tag. I was tagged by the lovely Megan from Disney Makes Coloring. The tag originated from um, Sassy Colors, or excuse me, I'm so sorry, Sassy Coloring, my, my apologies. Um, and then was edited or added to by a pictured purpose who's new on the YouTube's uh, coloring wavelengths. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, so I am going to be answering these questions and showing you some pages. Um, so yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> so I, I'm just going to start with what is my best picture colored for 2024 so far? Uh, I like several, so I'm just going to grab the one, oh, excuse me, that got the most likes on Instagram. And it's in this little beauty of a book. The um, It's translated Teddy Bear Therapy. I believe, by Diane DeFore. Love this book. Love this illustrator. Um, and you guys all really seemed to like this one. <laughs> this is um, a page I've done recently, um, last month, I think, actually, with my sister as a buddy color. And I just used all Albert Durr's for the background, the teddy bears, the tree, all of that. And then I used some um, red glaze on the cherries and um, the white is just Thule Art paint pen. And then the black is also a jelly roll glaze. And that's all I used. But you guys seemed to really like this one on Instagram. So that's the one I'm gonna show you for the most, my best page, I guess. I There's a lot of them. I'm pretty happy with all of the ones I've actually done in this book. Um, the, dinosaur one or dragon I guess this one I is a color speed color on the channel my only speed color actually um, there's one in here that I was I did a buddy color with Kate from Kate's coloring Haven and hers was amazing and mine's okay it's just not exactly the way I had imagined it when I did it it's so it's so cute but the problem is um, I found with the pinks and reds in pencils with the fixative that I use. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent here. The workable fixative from Krylon. Um, those colors, pink and red, seem to go through when I use that fixative. And I don't know if I used too much because I'm just not very, you know, it's all new to me, all of these things still. Um, but look at that. I don't, that's going to be like the sky part is probably going to be good, easy to peasy because it's going to be a, either a galaxy sky, which is going to have pink in it anyways, or even black it out. I'm not sure because it's a space picture, but like the, through the bear and things and the spaceship, it, I'm going to be, it's going to be a challenge. Anyways, sorry, that was a tangent. I love this book. It's one of my top 20. So that was that question um <clears throat> which is my most colored book so far this year and that one would be in enchanted faces by hannah carlson or sorry <laughs> and hannah lynn um actually it's enchanted faces mermaids fairies and fantasy pocket-sized coloring book she always has tongue twister um titles <laughs> But I love this book and I have currently nine pages done in this book. And this is as far as I've gotten in any of my coloring books um, so far, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that. I'm going to leave this here so you don't have to just stare at my hands. <clears throat> Number three, what newly released coloring book have I not started in but want to in 2024? Well, I have a couple. 
Um, I haven't done any of my A-Pole books, but A-Pole just released her Seasons book um, not too long ago, and I haven't colored in that one. Um, I should have pulled that, and I didn't. I'm so sorry. Um, but I can show you the Polar Bear and the Fox book that I'm talking about. And it's these two. I purchased these several months ago now, and I still have not made it into them. They've been in my plans for the last couple of months, and I have yet to color in them. I want to really badly get into them. Um, and I think what my point, my point, I get, words are hard today. Excuse me. What I'm going to be doing is trying to replicate what the illustrator did. Um, who is, sorry, this is Desert Fox Sojiome or Sojiomi, a warm four seasons coloring book. And it's a Korean coloring book. Um, I got this off of Etsy but it's got this left side is all colored in already illustrated. And then you have this um, is your side to do. And there's so many cute pictures in here. And I am going to try my best to color this page if I can this month, um, which it's the already halfway through the month and I'm already behind. <laughs> I'm trying to finish all my buddy colors and things first before I jump into the books that I haven't touched yet, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, and then the Polar Bear book. Um, this is one of the most recent one in the, um, I think it was by the Yururi author. I'm mistaken. I'm so sorry. It's called Polar Bear's Adventure Cruise by Yuki Shiratori. So it's not part of the Yuvari series. Um, but look at this book. It is just the cutest and I really need to color in it badly. It's got some really cute Christmas stuff in it too. I mean, all the pages are absolutely gorgeous in this book, but anyways, I have so many books that I need to color in still. Um, I've actually done really well and haven't purchased anything any books since my last haul. Um, I'm trying to color in more of my books. <laughs> um, and I have bought a few supplies. I did get some happy mail, which I will show you guys um, probably next month um, so that I have an actual haul video to show you because I've only gotten like one thing. Um, and it's not real exciting. It's just some some pens. Anyways, <laughs> I keep going off on tangent. These are a few that I'm going to show you that I have not colored in that were recently released. Okay, so number four, what is, <clears throat> what is my most anticipated book release for the second half of 2024? And that is going to be a few different ones. Um, Maria Trolley is coming out with a new book that I'm excited about. Hannah Carlson's Christmas book is coming out. And I already pre-ordered the Emily uh, Little Hall Oberg um, book that's a re-release. I didn't actually get the first one because I wasn't coloring when that was. But... Um, I'm excited to, that'll be my first book of hers. So then that comes out just this next month. So that'll be exciting to, to receive and jump into. Um, <clears throat> okay, and number five. What is my favorite illustrator or publisher in 2024? Uh, that would have to be uh, Diane DeFore and Hannah Carlson. Um, Hannah Carlson, because I just love her illustrations um, and all of her books. I have all of her books. Um, and Diane DeFore this year really started to become one of my favorite, top favorites because every time I color one of her illustrations, I'm smiling. She always has her characters looking like they have such joy in their little hearts and it just makes me happy. <laughs> so I've really enjoyed her illustrations and her books. Um, 
so yeah so that's that number uh let's see what next number six uh did i try any new techniques thus far um techniques I mean, I don't know. It's not necessarily techniques. It's more new um, products that I haven't used before. I, this year, um, purchased chalk pastels and oil pastels for the first time. And I have jumped into starting to use those for like backgrounds and things. And I've really started to enjoy that. Um, so, I mean, the technique that you use for those is, I guess, new to me too. So, I don't, I don't know that's <laughs> and I've been um, jumping into watercolor more as well so I mean that's a new technique I suppose but yeah um, number seven what book do I want to finish this year oh well um, I am probably not going to finish a book this year <laughs> like I had said in one of the other um, question about how the one I've gotten farthest in is this book and I've only done nine and there's a total of 51 pages in here <laughs> to color counting counting like this page I count all of them um, I don't count these I'm not coloring all these thumbnails but yeah anyways um, so I still have a really long way to go um, but I'm gonna try my darndest I cannot wait to get another book finished I do have one book finished last October and that was the 30 day um, Coco Wayo Halloween book um, and that was crazy hard for me being a slow colorist and I I don't think I'll do one of those again for a holiday I mean it's really fun and it's neat to feel accomplished but I rushed through a lot of those pages and it's just not me so um, I'll still maybe purchase those but not with the finishing the whole book in one month goal <laughs> so anyways um so I want to finish all my books honestly but um there is no chance that I'm going to be finishing a coloring book this year so there's that question um number eight what is that have I completed any books nope sorry number nine do I have any coloring book purchase regrets this year no not this year um, I do for 2023 when I was first getting started I bought some AI books um, that were very disappointing um, and another AI book that had blatantly stole illustrations from other illustrators and I you know anyways those were definitely regrets, but that was last year and I haven't purchased anything like that this year. So I've been happy with all of my purchases. Uh, number 10, what coloring book would I recommend? Um, I would have to say probably one of my top 20 <laughs> in a Tana Carlson Seasons. Now I say this because um, I know not everyone is a seasonal colorist. I get that, but seasons because it's a season seasonal coloring book. It has all four seasons in it, which means it has all four or all four, all of the most of most all of the um, standard uh, holidays and things as well, like Christmas and. Um, Halloween and those bigger ones that a lot of us all um, celebrate but it also also because it has a lot of simple pages and some not so simple pages and portraits and animals and botanicals I mean it's got a little bit of everything in it this is one of my favorite books this is an untouched version I just got another copy of it and that's this is my new copy because of a reason that I will be sharing in my next video <laughs> um, but um, I have three done in my old copy two of which were very early pages that I'm not so proud of one of which though was this page that I did with my sister that I really loved um, but yeah 
So Seasons would be one book that I recommend. Of course, there's probably a lot more that I could recommend, but this one jumped out at me initially when I looked at that question. So there's that. And number 11, how many books have I colored thus far in 2024? I have colored so far through June, January through June, 84 pages. And that's good for me. Um, I range anywhere from 10 to 15 or 16 pages a month. Um, I try real hard to get to that 15, 16 mark. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't happen like the last couple of months. But um, I try. I'm just a real slow colorist and I'm picky about what I do. I really want to do my best. And so if I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. And I don't just color to get things done or I try not to, you know. Um, sometimes with the coloring channel, that can be hard. Um, but I don't want to do that. You know, this is a wonderful hobby that we all love. And I just want to do it the way I would do it you know normally without the channel so there's that um <laughs> and number 12 how many or excuse me uh my favorite colored illustrations thus far in 2024 okay so i have a few some are in here um these i would choose as some of my favorites just because they're so fun to do. I really love, I know they're more simple or can be more simple, um, but I always just fair, pretty much love the result after I'm done with these. And it's just a lot of fun to be able to choose any colors I want for the hair and everything. Even though you can do that in any, pay, you know, in any book, I just feel like I have rules in some of my books and this one doesn't have any rules for me. <laughs> so that would be why I picked this book for liking a lot of my pages. They're just a lot of fun, and I really liked this last month. That was fun. And I have this one was in March. So it, this one and... I've really been enjoying this book. I already showed you all of these. This one you guys really liked by Diane DeFore, Teddy Bear Therapy. Also, one of my favorites is in Mine Rise Sturch Europa, one of my top 20. And it is the Log Cabin page that I did. Um, I really enjoyed this. It was with Black Widows and Tule Art, Paint Pan, Jelly Roll, Metallics. And I just, I had a lot of fun with that. I thought it was super fun. Love that page. Actually, I'm pretty happy with all the pages I've done in here, which is only three. The only thing with this was my latest one. I loved my sky, my pastel sky, but I have some mess up stuff that happened. You know, happens to all of us, I suppose. But I liked it. I did this buddy color with Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven. Um, I have some in Fragile World by Kirby Rosanis that I really loved. Um, this one is one of my favorite, my red panda. A lot of work went into this little man. And he, I call him my grumpy little red panda because he looks so angry. <laughs> but I have a couple done in here. This is an old one. I really love my otter. I hate my sky, but that was because, you know, I didn't know much about blending yet and yeah but I tried and you know you always can tell when I screw up on something because there's bling on top of it I try to hide it <laughs> um, and then this one most recently I did with my sister Zifrogs and I'm hoping to get another one colored in this this month and I'm doing a full project book um, with uh, Low Colors, Lauren from Low Colors, in this book. And we have about seven done in here. Um, this is this month's, not done yet. But I really love the diversity I can use in this book, too. All kinds of fun 
ways to do things and I love using the stickers and stuff on the outside of the pages and or since there's a tiny illustration they're easy to do um, and we're getting pretty far in here but I've loved most all of the stuff I've done in here so far this is the one page I did before we started so I really enjoyed these and this is the same thing that you might be seeing a pattern when I have I feel free in one of my coloring books I really like to they're some of my favorites and Tropagoff by Carl Magana is one of them this is a book I'm going through with Christina art Christina's art corner um, her whole community is going through this book month by month doing a page I'm behind but everything I've done well this one eh. But for most of part, all of the ones that I've done, I've really enjoyed. This is the one that's pretty crazy, but it's it's fine. Um, <laughs> these are the ones I should be have done. That's this month. I still haven't gotten done, but I just love them. And they're crazy and fun and bright and in your face. And I love them. <laughs> I love that about them. That's my first one. That was an old one. Didn't do much to that one, but lots of fun stuff. And then I have three in Worlds of Wonder by Joanna Basford that I enjoy. A lot of them, some of them, like this one, I don't necessarily enjoy some of the page, <laughs> like the bottom, but I really enjoyed my owl and I loved the, the shading job I did there. Um, I'm not so excited about the house or the bottom here, but I did this all in Neo Color 2s, and I'm not real versed in those yet, so I was kind of proud of myself for that, and then um, the moon and everything was cool. Um, I did this one that I really liked, and I did a stencil clouds in the background, which I haven't, actually this might be the only one I've done that, nope, I did one in Diane Four, I guess. And then this one was my favorite, my very first try with my Albert Durs. And I really actually still really love how it turned out. The sky needs a little better blending, but you know, I think it for the most part turned out really pretty cool. So those are some, of course, I'm sure there's more that maybe I forgot or I would, don't remember, but you know, it's hard to go through everything <laughs> and see, you know, it takes a really long time. Um, okay. And number thirteen. What pencils do I use most thus far in 2024? Um, there's three different sets that I always seem to be going back to, and those are my polychromos. Um my Prismas and my Black Widows. I fluctuate through those and I've been using most all of my pencils this year though. I've been going back and forth and I've been really proud of myself for using everything I I own. <laughs> and I have Brute Fooners, the Brute Fooner Macarons, Macarons, something like that, the Albert Durs, and um, I just recently, a couple months ago, got the Artix pencils. I've been using those too, but my favorite pencils are the Polys and the Prismas. And last question, what are my favorite embellishments? Um, I would have to say I love, I 90% of the time I'm always ending up using my Stardust and my Glaze Jelly Rolls. I love them but I really enjoyed using my chalk pastels. Um, that's something uh, that's new to me as far, as far as embellishments go. Um, I really love my stickles. I love my glossy accents. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed the chalk pastels that I've used um, here recently in pages. So that is it you guys um i am not going to tag anybody but you are welcome to pop this on your channel and um the questions will be below in the description uh, also sassy coloring and um 
a pictured purpose um go check them out if you would they were the creators of this tag well sassy created it and a pictured purpose um modified it edited it whatever added to it <laughs> um and thank you again megan for tagging me and i hope you guys all enjoyed take care everyone have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video